hello everyone uh, which number is fit in the box so that equations are correct you see here we have these four boxes and if you put uh, which number in these boxes then uh, these equations will become correct so here uh, first uh, we suppose that uh, if we substitute in this box uh, this is equals to a and we put uh, this is equals to b this is equals to c and we take this is equals to d so if you uh, take these four arbitrary numbers in this box so here uh, we have four equations which we get from here then we can easily solve these four system of equations and we get the values of a b and c these are the required values okay so first we uh, need to uh, write the system of equations form so that you see here this is a multiplied by b we write it here a multiplied by b equals to 15 from here uh, now we have uh, a uh, we have c minus d is equals to 5 and here you see that we have uh, a plus c equals to 3 and if you see here b plus d equals to 12 okay we write it here b plus d equals to 12 so we have these four system of equations which we obtain from our given data so we call this is equation number one this is equation number two this is equation number three and this is our equation number four so we have these four uh, system of equations and now our next target is to find uh, the values of these four variables a b c and d so that now here first we need uh, equation number one and equation number three so by uh, so here first we write from equation number one here we move this b to the right hand side because you see here this b is multiplied by here when we move in the right hand side it will becomes 15 over b and we call this is our equation number five so here we need to substitute this value of a in equation number three so here our equation number three is implies that this is a plus c equals to three uh, when we substitute the value of a equals to 15 over b here uh, so uh, it will be written as uh, uh, 15 over b plus c equals to 3 okay so now you see here uh, we have uh, now we move uh, this 15 this uh, c to the right hand side so that uh, we will obtain here the value of c is equals to so we move 15 over b to the right hand side and it will be written as 3 minus 15 over b and we call this is our equation number 6. So after that we need to focus on equation number 2 and equation number 4. So here you see that this is c minus d and b plus d. So when we add these two equations so here uh, this d is eliminate and we get our equation in the terms of c and b. Okay. So now in the next step here uh, we just add equation number 2 and equation number 4. So now first we copy down equation number 2 so that you see here equation number 2 is c minus d equals to 5. Equation number 4 is b plus d equals to 12. Okay so when you add these two equations you see here this is negative and positive are gone and you get c plus b equals to 5 plus 12 becomes here 16 okay so here uh, we need to find the value of c uh, so you get here uh, this implies that we move this b to the right hand side and we get here c is equals to 17 minus b and we call this is our equation number 7 and now here we need to substitute this value of c in equation number 6 so uh, our equation number 6 is implies that uh, so equation number 6 is c equals 3 minus 15 over b the value of c is here we put it here and it will be written as 17 minus b equals to 3 minus 15 over b so here we apply 
or we use equation number seven okay so now you see here this equation will becomes in terms of b variable so that now here we need to multiplying uh, both of the sides by b so when you multiply both of the sides by b it will be written as 17 b minus b square equals to 3 b minus here you see that b is multiplied by 15 over b okay so you see that this b is cancelled out by this b and we obtain here 17 b minus b square equals to 3b minus 15 so here we move these two terms to the uh, right hand side so it will be written as in this form this is minus b square when we move in the right hand side it will become plus b square this is plus 17b it will becomes minus 17b this is plus 3b and minus 15 equals to 0 so here we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have b square minus uh, 14b minus 15 equals to 0 so now you see here this equation will becomes in quadratic form and now we easily get the values of b from here so we easily make the factors of this equation and the factors of this equation are b square minus 15b and plus b minus 15 equals to 0 here we just break this meter term we write this minus 14 as minus 15 plus 1 so here we just take common b from first two terms and we obtain b minus 15 and here we take common 1 and we get b minus 15 equals to 0 okay so further we have uh, we take common the factor b minus 15 and the other term will becomes here b plus 1 equals to 0 so here we write this into the two cases so the first case is we write b minus 15 equals to 0 and here we write b plus 1 equals to 0 here we easily get the value of b is 15 uh, and here we get the value of b is equals to minus 1 so we get two values of b so now we uh, need to find the values of c uh, from uh, these values of uh, the b so here we need equation number seven so that equation number seven is implies that c equals to 17 minus b so now we need to substitute these two values of b here and we get the values of c so we have c equals to 17 minus b we put this value here 17 minus 15 so you get the value of c equals to 2 and similarly when you put this value here then you get c equals to 17 plus 1 this is minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and you get c is equals to 18 so we get these two values of c and after that in, in order to find the value of a here we need our equation number 5 so that equation number 5 is implies that we copy down equation number 5 here a equals to 15 over b so now again we substitute above uh, two values of b here the first value of b is 15 and the second value of b is minus 1 we need to substitute these two values here and we easily get the value of a okay so uh, here we substitute the value of uh, b equals to 15 and here we substitute the value of b equals to minus 1 then you get 15 over minus 1 so here you get the value of a equals to 1 and here you get the value of a equals to minus 15 okay these are the two values of a so now in order to find the value of d uh, here we need to copy down the equation number uh, equation number 4 or equation number three okay so here we just copy down equation number four equation number four is implies that b plus d equals to 12 so we have two values of b and the two values of b are 15 and b equals to minus one so now we need to substitute these two values here and we get the values of d so when you put this value of b here it will becomes 15 plus d equals to 12 when you put this value here then you get minus 1 plus d equals to 12 so here you easily get the value of d equals to minus 3 and here you get the value of d equals to 13 okay so finally we have uh, the two two values now we have uh, four values of a b and c 
uh, so that uh, finally we have two pairs of solutions uh, so we write it here uh, so we have first value because you see that uh, we have uh, all of the variables have two values so we make the two pairs here uh, so we have the first value of a is 1 uh, and the value of b is 15 uh, and the value of c is 2 and the value of d is minus 3 similarly uh, the second set of solution is the value of a is minus 15 the value of b is minus 1 the value of c is 18 and the value of uh, d is 30 so we have these three these two pairs of solutions and now we will just check it uh, check uh, all of these solutions in the given question here okay so uh, this if you can uh, satisfy uh, you can put all the values of a b c and d here then you see that both of pairs are also satisfied this equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos